مرحبا العديد منكم بس عندكم اصابات خاصه بالظهر بتوقفوا التمارين رح نعطيكم نصايح كيف لازم تكفوا وشو لازم تعملوا لحتى تحسوا انه الانجري ما عم بتاثر عليكم نحن اليوم موجودين بهيركلس فتنس سنتر رح نحكي مع ويلز اللي هو ماستر ريهاب ترينر هاي ويلز هاي شاندي باك انجري از ا كومن بروبلم اسبيشلي وذ مان شود دي ستوب ترينينج ويل تروث بي تولد no more than a few days. Um, the most common injury, most common back injury that I've seen in the gym is a, disc, is a herniated disc. Yes. Uh, or a slip disc as it's also commonly called. And um, when you experience one of these, it can be excruciatingly painful. And you rest for a few days, go see a doctor, make sure that it's not very severe. Uh, but once you get the all clear from the doctor, you can train, no problem. Just be sensible about the whole thing. Okay. Now you're gonna tell us how to be sensible and how to train for such an injury. Okay, now, first and most important is you need to find out why did you get the injury. Now a lot of people, when it comes to herniated discs, the most common causes would be um, from doing either deadlifts or squats. It and comes from being in the gym. It's from exercising. No, the most common causes from the gym yes. would be these two exercises. Yes. But you can get a herniated disc outside of the yeah, gym we as well, also. very, very easily. Yeah. Um, but what happens is, if you go into uh, spinal flexion, which yes. means your spine is bending forward uh -huh. under load, uh -huh. uh, the risk of the herniation of the intervertebral discs is quite high and it increases obviously with the load that you're placing on it. Yeah. So what you need to do is you need to retrain the body into a neutral spine. Uh -huh. Now when somebody gets a herniated disc when they're doing a squat for instance, yes. it's because in the, the lower part of the squat they go into lumbar flexion. That's yeah. when the lower part of the back starts to round. Yeah. Now this is very dangerous and this is where herniated discs come from. Now the main cause for this is either the hip flexors are too tight or their hamstrings are too tight. So yeah. you need to figure out where does the problem lie yeah. and fix the problem before you fix the injury. What kind of exercise is suitable? Uh, if it's somebody who has very tight hamstrings, I would recommend like Romanian deadlifts for instance. Romanian deadlifts, very similar to the, the form of well, the normal deadlift, yeah. but with the Romanian deadlift, your knees don't, you know, like, they're fixed. Okay. Like with the normal deadlift, there is a lot of bend in the knee yes. throughout the movement. On a Romanian deadlift, you bend your knees slightly and you lock them in place. Yes. And then all of the movement comes out of the hips. Uh -huh. um, of course, if you're recovering from a, from a disc herniation, you start off with no weight. Yes. And then you progress to an empty bar and gradually increase the weight uh -huh. as you can. Uh -huh. Obviously, you never want to train in pain. Yes. The moment you start feeling pain, reduce the weight. Uh -huh. uh, and with the Romanian deadlift, very importantly, you want to flex from the hips. You uh -huh. bend from the hips. You push your bum out, yes. get a flat back. Um, easiest way I've always found is just have the bar drag, slide up and down your thigh. What's the second? exercise. Uh, another very good exercise would be just lower back strengthening and you can do an exercise like the back extensions lying flat on your stomach on the ground somebody holds your feet down and you yes. just lift your chest off of the ground. Uh -huh. um, my personal favorite kettlebell swings yeah. uh, not just is it a fantastic exercise to train uh, neutral spine but it's also a fantastic exercise to strengthen the back increase the hamstring flexibility, mm -hmm. gluteal activation, all of these things which will prevent further injuries later on. Third one? Well, that was three. <laughs> <laughs> no, but a third one that you can do is just you know, very simple. Stand with your back against the wall with your, your bum, your shoulder blades That's my and your head personal favorite, actually. against the wall. <laughs> Palms forward, keep your hands against the wall as well and hold yes. that position for a couple of minutes. Okay, that's good. What's not to do? What not to do? Yeah. Don't round your back when you lift anything. Uh -huh. Now, I know it sounds very simple, mm -hmm. but 
in a society where we sit all the time, we sit at our desk, we drive, we sit when we watch television, yes. um, we're constantly in spinal flexion, mm -hmm. especially lumbar spinal flexion. Yeah. So when you find that you have a herniated disc, don't use the backrest of your chair, sit upright, make sure you have a hollowed out back, a neutral spine. Mm -hmm. When you're driving, sit upright, hold the steering wheel. Yes. You, don't, you know, I mean the backrest is comfortable but it's not helping you to recover from an injury. Some people are in constant pain. Uh, should they still train while in pain? First they need to find out why are they in pain. Yes. I mean, the herniated discs come in various severities, yes. um, from mild to severe. Yes. Uh, you even in some cases have where there's a bulge in the disc which presses on the spine. Yeah. Uh, this is most commonly identified by pain that gets referred to other parts of the body. Yes. People who hurt their back and they feel pins and needles or pain yeah, down that's the leg, most common, for instance. Yeah. Exactly. Um, in severe cases like this, it needs to be fixed with surgery. Mm -hmm. Most cases, luckily, that's not necessary. It yeah. just takes a bit of time to. Okay. to Should they still get train? Better. Again, if you can. Train. train yeah. If the pain prevents you from training, it's better to rest. Okay. Uh, but again, find out why are you in pain. Mm -hmm. Fix the, the cause of the pain, not necessarily the site of the pain. Excellent. Thank you so much. You're welcome. welcome.